What lesson? Lesson about not backing Sunrisers Hyderabad. Yeah. Mm. I learnt it last season and I'm sticking to it. Their team looks very good on paper all the time. But when it comes to crunch game, they will never do it. That's what I know. Anyway. But today was no crunch game. It's up against last year's runners-up, yeah. 2022 finalists. It's a big game. IPL, every game is a crunch yeah. game. When you're not qualifying or when you're fighting to qualify, every result matters. Unless you're Mumbai Indians, where you have then made up your mind that first three, four games is like trial ball. Let's play gully cricket, trial ball. We'll, you know... Uh, win, don't win, doesn't matter. Eventually, we'll make the playoffs. Mm. Then we'll see what we need to do. And I don't think this season will be different. I know they've started off poorly, but they do well. Anyway, the big story is the trend continues of Home the teams. hosts winning, barring one team that has been an anomaly till now. I we always said it for the right examples. I don't even it have to say be. the name of the team. Yeah. And I always was telling people in office, I'm like this home dominance, home dominance, wait, KKR go to RCB. Seven games that the team, two teams have played, KKR have a positive head-to-head. -head. What home advantage? I'm like, they're winning that game. But let's, let's not dwell too much on it because there's going to be company for RCB later in the evening. <laughs> so, let's not. So, let's not. <laughs> Delhi Capitals is going to lose even in the neutral home also, isn't it? It's but see, he's, how honest is he as a fan? fan. I it's not, see, you from one page which was difficult for stroke makers, you've gone to another page which is going to be equally difficult for stroke making. Is Vizag? Yeah, it's... Vizag is actually a belter. If exactly, you look at it. You is see the number, I am, I am coming here having done my research, that's why I'm saying that His this team. is not something that Delhi no, Cabinet and Ricky Ponting again will be very happy okay, with. Okay, so fans... But, hmm. but, we have to, they are now calling it their second home. Two matches, it's their second home. Yeah. Let's see. So, but I have one question. Mm. Even if it is a belter or not a belter, how does that make a difference to no, the fortune? No, it would have. Zone? Slightly. How? Slightly. I the other team also comes with uh, hitters. Na? And, and I In fact, they will have better hitters. hitters. Correct. So, for actually, for Delhi, the better chance would have been to have a sluggish, better. low scoring mm. pitch. Then it evens out the com uh, contest. Against CSK, man to man, mano in mano. There is no competition in terms of hitting prowess. No, because because I will back somebody like a Kuldeep. I will also back somebody like a Nokia, by the way, who was rusty because first game in a long time for him and uh, whatever. So, yeah, his express pace, Kuldeep, if he has a good day, all of that. I, I just together. have to point out that he's this talking about batter-friendly tracks and name two bowlers. And, <laughs> exactly and let me complete. Let me complete. Let me complete. Because <laughs> I will at least have some runs for these bowlers to play with on a uh, sluggish track. My bowlers don't even get us. One you know, Exactly. Or they don't even get enough to play with. Here, at least yeah. the batters yes. do their due and the bowlers hopefully will have something to no, bowl. No, no. See, see, I, there is a reason. Okay. Fans... Firstly, I, am, I really appreciate Harshit for being realistic, unlike RCB fans who remain in delusion forever, okay? Delulu. Delulu, absolutely. Delulu. So, today, if you look at it, RCB, if uh, you have to look at it, they will still say, oh, we'll still... Every time Siddharth so says, if you look at it, I feel like saying, no, I will not. I will not. <laughs> sure. Sure, that is the way it goes. Anyway, but anyway, sorry, go ahead. Delhi Capitals, you banged on one name also, right? Apart from Kuldeep Yadav, Andrich Nautier. Nautier conceded 25 runs in that final over against RR, which ensured yes, yes. Delhi couldn't chase it. But that was a crucial point in that. Now, wherever they play, I am tempted to say there are two Opalan Hares. Okay? Opalan Hare Nirgun is in the RCB bowling, but Opalan Hare Nirgun is in the Delhi Capitals batting. Hmm. It's shifted from RCB. I'm sorry, RCB have five competent batters out of seven. But in a Delhi team, you have half of that. In fact, I may... See, they are also batters on paper. When it comes to actually bailing the I team out, it's not happening. I know you today. Everything paper, paper, paper. Haan, but it's not happening, na? No, I don't get that reference. What is it? Oh, yeah. Delhi are the better paper. team on paper. I know. So, yeah. 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 India were the better team. Yeah. Yeah. On paper, India were the better team. So, we won the paper World Cup then, isn't it? <laughs> the paper cup. The paper cup. So, now you are saying... So, you doubt Warner. You doubt Marsh and today will they play a Prithvi Shaw? They we shouldn't. don't know. Fact they shouldn't. Sure. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. Stick with Ricky Bui. I'm fine with that. Okay, let's talk about a game that's gotten over first. The one where you had uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad 
uh, lose to the Gujarat Titans. Gujarat, I'm guessing now after playing three games, two wins. they won uh, two and lost one. Should be in the top four. I think fourth would be where. Yeah. They fourth, they've reached top four. We all picked them to be a top four team. None of us picked SRH as the top four no. team. Good reason for that because I, you know, uh, again team that will look good on paper, yeah. but may not necessarily be able to replicate that when it comes to actual cricket and that's exactly See, what's happened. If you were playing that. foreigner fives or something and you would just have to name the five best foreigners from your team, they were probably winning it because they've yeah. got a very good foreign group over there. But oh, otherwise, no, I will take offense to that. What are the likes of, uh, what do you call, uh, Shofane Rutherford plucking the... Uh, and what has Shofane Rutherford done in the IPL? Not in the IPL, it doesn't matter. You Phil playing Salt, in the IPL? Phil Salt has done nothing in the IPL, IPL. IPL till last year. Haan, to, it's only two games in. Fight. It's only two games no, in. No, I think it's worth a debate. Uh, name the five, okay. Which team has the best five foreigners? Mm. Okay, so put your five foreigners for KKR, put your five foreigners for SRH. SRH, uh, you'd go with Travis Head, Matt Cummins, Aiden Markram, Hendrik Klassen, Marco Janssen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What have okay. you got? Uh, if you had to pick the five, I would go with the four who start, obviously. I know people Name will... Name them, Andre Russell. So, Andre Russell, Sunil Narayan, for sure. Mid Stark, I know people will say, oh, but had bad, this yeah. thing, whatever. Don't care, he still starts. And Phil Salt. And the fifth, I could... So, let's do one by one. Mitchell Stark yes. versus... Marco Janssen. Mm. Or Pat Cummins. Pat Cummins. Cummins. Cummins wins. Cummins wins, yeah. Okay, 1-0. Okay. Next up. Uh, batter, Hedwig. Phil Salt. Hmm. Your topmost batter. Travis Head. Travis Head. Travis Head. Travis Head, Travis Head wins. 2-0. Oh, wins on what precisely? 2-0. No, what? no, overall, overall. We're oh, overall, as a T20 batter, Phil Salt is <laughs> no, no. probably... No, no. We, we stuck out for Phil yes. Salt. Okay, let's have, a, let's have a vote. You're going with Phil Salt. I'll go with Phil Salt. I'll go Travis Head. Yeah. Travis Head. Oh, come on, people okay. will give me a bias for this. Okay, you so 2-0. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> now next up. Hendrik Klassen. Hendrik Klassen. Andre Russell, are you telling? Please. No, 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 but but I'm you bring Andre Russell next, na? I no. think in batting order. Yeah, batting order. order if, uh, they are the lower yeah, order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Actually, Klassen, Russell. Right. It's a close contest, but okay, I'll give. 50 votes for Russell. 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 Yeah, I'll give Russell. Slightly ahead, but a very close contest. Okay. Very close. Huh, yeah. Okay. Then. Cummins versus Sunil Narayan. If you are picking Pat Cummins, no, no, no Cummins is pick, pick. Cummins beat. Makram. Cummins beat Stark Stark, already. Oh yeah, Cummins beat Stark already. So you got Markram and Sunil Narayan. Markram, Sunil Narayan. See different, different roles. players, but okay, I'll go with Sunil Narayan. Sunil, Sunil, Sunil Narayan. Okay. Two two. Uh, uh, what is left? Jansen versus. If I have to pick, I think the next competent should be Rutherford. Uh, uh, I'll go with the answer. Yeah, yes. so three, two. That's very yeah but can I tell you the margin in certain like certain clause uh, ones, uh, ones which uh, KKR one were very fine. But I'll still yeah. go with five best foreigners to SRH. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but again, it's all very arguable subjective. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but we do this now. Uh, we, <laughs> make our, <laughs> we make our best 11 but <laughs> based on whoever gets the most votes. Rules the way they are allow you four foreigners. And, and I remember someone who DM'd me recently, a regular subscriber of ours, Haryar and Vishwanathan. He's a pretty regular subscriber. And he asked me, he's like, how is it that you're not picking SRH? And I said one thing, Indian talent. Their Indian talent severely lacking. I'm yeah. sorry, if your best players are, and no disrespect to an Abhishek Sharma or a Samad, the decent players. But who's your marquee Indian player? Mayan Gagarwal. In the first game, he batted with a striker of 84. Today, he batted with a striker of 94. Next, Next game, game is 104. Then. That's nothing. 10 10 run arithmetic progression. progression. Yeah. yeah. So that is why. And look. Chill, will you be kind enough to show us the scorecard? Also, their huh. bowling, I'm sorry, doesn't inspire much confidence. Cummins, great leader, but a T20 bowler, he's not. He's not. He's an all rounder in T20, he's not a bowler. Bhuvneshwar Kumar will be great some days. Oh, no, but, but, but Bhuvneshwar, the one good. Class bowler. Yeah, okay. Fine. You have to but give again, it. In the death recently, he's not been great. Again. That's why they're bowling him up. Ah, up front. Yeah. But then your other alternative is Jadeva Nadkar. Which is... Who's done? No, but he, he's done a decent job so far. Okay mm, job. Because today, I know you're, you're... You're lowering the bar. Correct. You are. But yeah. I think that's what they left. I agree their bowling lineup doesn't inspire much confidence. And I think the biggest blow that has been dealt to Janssen. Sunrisers Hyderabad. Not not Janssen, the biggest blow that's been uh, dealt to Sunrise Hyderabad, I think is Hasaranga oh, now, yeah, sure. not coming in. I think him coming into the team, the all-rounder that he was, 
would have made the team look very different and if all of you thought initially that they could be uh, a team to be fighting for top four spot maybe with a hasaranga in mind maybe you would have been looking at the team differently yes pat cummins also i didn't think much of his bowling but i must say so far he's impressed with his bowling effort yes. so yeah, far yes, yes. i think he's still done a far better job than a star because you keep talking Obviously. about the amount of money that both of them were paid of course cummins doing the double job of being the captain and his captaincy has been spot on is yeah. okay. i don't think there is any issue with yeah. uh, cummins uh, right. captaincy as far as in the previous wickets yeah. Cummins has overshone Mitchell Stark in a big big way. Yeah, even the previous match, yes, it was you know a higher scoring match and what not, and Mumbai had the momentum. They had to pull things back. Uh, SRH. If it wasn't for those three overs and the way that they were timed, that over from Bhuvneshwar Kumar, him, I'm just forgetting the third bowler. It was a fourteen, fifteen seconds. Yeah, they were not cut. The way that those three overs were timed, those cutters that were bowled. Again, you have to give credit to uh, Pat Cummins to be able to know when those three overs had to be put in. No, today even today even today yes even, even today, today what see i think i i, I think the game by the way uh, you're talking about uh, eventually the team winning gujarat winning with ease but it seemed to be tricky till about the 15th over yes. it it seemed like uh, they needed about 50 odd runs still with yeah. five overs to it, go it was about 11 12 uh, required net run rate which is there or thereabouts could have been tricky because it wasn't the best of pitches to bat on right a bit a bit tricky as you realize when the team that was batting first as well with srh i think that over that completely changes the mayank markande Mark over where he bowls that uh, particular over the the 16th over and runs. then it just completely 23 24 runs it mm. completely changed the complexion of the game but i don't think there was any other option that he could mm. have gone for so i don't think he heard as a captain Cummins had as uh, Bhuvneshwar had finished his overs. You had overs remaining for Unatkat and Cummins, which he would have then yeah. used. The other option he would have gone with um, Washington Sundar or Shabazz, who had been far more expensive than Mayank Markande at that stage. So I think he took the right call. It's just that I think the batters, credit to the batters, they also realized this is the over to go all out for, because then it's going to be two of Cummins. Two of Jade may be slightly tougher, especially with them trying to cut off their pace. Both bowlers yeah. doing that. So I think smart batting by Gujarat at that stage, but it was a close. In game. fact, Chen and I were discussing about this, and we said it. You know, in fact, we called it that. You know, they're waiting. They're not. Yes, there was a good 20 run gap between bat and uh, uh, number of balls left and the uh, runs to be scored. But we were all, we were both of the opinion that they're waiting for the 16th over. Mm-hmm. The moment you're into the death, the moment, and clearly, as you saw, it just coincidentally turned out to be the 16th over. But I think they had also. uh zeroed in on mayank markande that the attack will be taken to him 24 runs and that's where the match was then sealed this in both games that srh have lost markande's overs have been game changers against kolkata those three sixes which russell hit yes. off yes. Yes. totally shifted the momentum because at that point till that point srh really had the foot in the next and russell was three or five exactly that moment changes the momentum and then what does he do Plus that fifty. Same here. They were in a position where they could have choked the flow of runs, but they attacked Markande, got those runs, and after that it was merely a formality. Merely a formality. That's right. But you know, Gujarat on certain occasions, taking nothing away from Sai Sudarshan, at mm-hmm. one stage, uh, he got those runs, and the the mm-hmm. net run rate now looks okay at one. Uh, his run rate now looks okay at. 125, the strike rate that he had, yeah. but at one point was almost 100. Where you batted enough ball. God forbid, it's one of those games where Markande ends up bowling a good over, and then you're up against the wall because two of Cummins, two of uh, yeah. Jaydev to come, and you fall short of the target. The blame should have gone to them. And why I was saying that you have a batting, and this is one approach. That, uh, again, Gujarat have won today, so nothing succeeds like success. You look at them. doing well but a uh, one thing that i'm finding with gujarat is that they see this is the approach that has worked well for them in the previous two seasons one which helped them win the title one which took them to final where they played conservative conventional t20 cricket they did that and that is what helped them reach that far but there i say i think t20 in ipl has slightly evolved and if that has evolved i don't think it is the correct approach Yeah. Because what is the batting lineup? You've got an Omar Zai sitting. You've got a Rahul Tewatia sitting. You've got even a Rashid who can tonk it a bit. So you've got decent batting to come, and yet you are trying to play runner ball. What if you get into? And then supposing that big over doesn't come, as I said, four tough overs. 
then you get out and you expect the remaining guys to finish it up that wouldn't be unfair so you have to be a, like other teams are doing be a bit more adventurous be a bit more attacking take the attack to the opposition it's like a mistake that punjab made yesterday i think they were cruising and at one stage time. yeah one stage they said let's be comfortable we'll why what are you going to take those wickets home for and then what happens if you only try to do it at the death you start losing wickets as punjab did yesterday you found yourself in trouble and it could have happened today today they have survived but i think slight change to their approach where you know you've got attacking batsmen to come why even make it risky there keep attacking in take fact, it i remember one point there was a phase in the middle overs from ball number 7.4 to ball number 11.4 exactly four overs no boundaries yeah no boundaries and it's not like you had uh, one of the world's greatest uh, spinners or anything bowling to you you had the normal bowlers of srh who again we don't rate doing their job sticking to their plans gujarat won't trying to push the envelope the batters yeah. are happy to tuck 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 around and i'm like you're letting the game get away from you 160 is not a big total in fact in the middle middle, middle things i was saying listen this if they play to their potential should be a game that helps them correct their net run rate but you're winning it in the 20th over what you can do if you still want to strike a balance what chennai does mix an attacker with a conservative batter yeah. right you to do that but it's not happening in your case okay you start off like that where ridhiman sah is the attacker but then shubman in that case especially now with no hardik pandya it's a slightly different role that he's playing being the captain this wasn't the role that shubman was playing last season with hardik coming on a little later maybe you have that confidence so no hardik around now he tries to be that anchor so if he is going to be that then sai sudarshan is coming also and playing like that mm. today david miller was also doing that vijay shankar at one stage was finding it tough to you know get the boundaries through you can't have so many anchors omar zai also hasn't really been that yeah. explosive in t20 in the only one that i can think of is tevatia and uh, rashid, yeah, rashid will do that yeah. nobody else so it's not that these batters can't do but they need to be told that listen we need some fire power as well in the middle okay we are balancing it out with one guy playing that role of being sort of conservative or the anchor but the other and one a has better to say, bowling attack will expose this yeah a better bowling because see today you got out of jail because srh have got two three loopholes in the bowling lineup yeah, for example i mean see their pace bowlers stepped up today in the form of why Bumbeshwar that reminds me why won't you go with a umran then i i would have gone instead of a washington because okay many might say that on oh, they needed batting because with the batting was yeah. yeah with four balls left you didn't need batting you could have yeah. done a, without him bring in a fast bowler why i'm saying in a low scoring game as you said your fast bowlers are done well you need some wickets okay. i know he can be expensive but he'll pick you wickets with washington i don't think you're getting that x you factor it's a safe it. option yeah, yeah i mean the safe option though you look at it umran's last two games as an impact player he came on in the game against mumbai indians he bowled only one over mm-hmm. considered 15 runs what are they doing with umran malik that is the thing i want to know with the srh camp at this point in time they are not utilizing him as an impact they are not picking him in the 11 if there is a 11 situation i think the sundar uh, impact thing was out of sheer desperation and panic Correct. but that also but is a wrong call yeah yeah mm-hmm. sort of panic they make the wrong they made the wrong decision and it backfired the first and the only ball golden that he missed no but i am saying hypothetically he was not out for a golden duck got 5 6 runs whatever mm-hmm. how does it matter you are now looking at his bowling no only with four balls yes. left in the innings how much impact can he have and anyway? and on top of that you are not bowling him in the period when he has to bowl the power, power play you are not bowling him in the power play also and today who opened shabaz when was shabaz ahmed a power play bowler never okay maybe during 2021 you might have bowled some overs in the power play for uh, royal challengers bengaluru but that was also when the games were and that too you are playing in chennai in decks which was slow and low at that time in 2021 so Shabazz Ahmed if you have to look at it opening with him was a tactical blunder that is one thing i'll say with pat cummins his captaincy opening yeah, right. with him was a blunder you should have stuck with sundar if you got him for as an impact player his main role ever since 2018 was bowling in the power play just ask rohit sharma how he utilized him so that was one blunder and okay markande not firing i would say not just uh, the kkr game and this game even in the mumbai game yeah, he was taken to the clean he was taken to the clean and that was what kept mumbai in the hunt all those seven overs 102 the platform was there even then also but still even mumbai they have stayed in the game by targeting market but i think they'll have to find another way because you can't be again what are the two takeaways then or the similarities in that match and this one you don't bowl markande at the death then you can't be bowling him the third over you 
हैव टू देन बी डन विद हिम लेट्स से बाय द 15 16 ओवर 16 दैट बेस्ट यू डोंट हैव अनदर चॉइस द राइट नाउ मार्कंडे शुड बी थैंकिंग हिज लकी स्टार्स दैट देयर इज नो हसरंगा अराउंड अदरवाइज दे हैड टू चेंज टॉप टू चेंज टीम कंपोजिशंस एंड हीड बी आउट द डोर इन एन इंस्टेंट दे डोंट हैव अनदर रिस्क स्पिनर because see your four overseas foreign players if hasranga was there would be head classen comments hasranga exactly and uh, somewhere they have to reconsider having uh, jansen also on the bench yeah they will have to because uh, i know he didn't have a great first game mm-hmm. but i think where you're going to be struggling in terms of that particular area and i know jaydev No, and no, also one more thing. One more thing. Yeah. We are we are like so involved in the matchups. Actually, on this particular deck, why didn't uh, Pat Cummins go for Travis Head and Aiden Markram, who are also bowling options? Something of a surprise. Okay, maybe Head gets a particular delivery. I mean, he struggled batters in the past. He's a competent off spinner. Mm. Markram yeah. also. So, Markram is. Bowls with a new ball sometime for South yeah, Africa. Yeah, yeah. Up in the power play and does rather well. If you're two overs of twenty from Shabazz, if you had to compensate for that, why didn't you bowl those two? I, I guess the the major reason of not going with either a Washington or a Markram is because you got two right-handed openers for Gujarat. That's what I was saying. So that's the only thing. Otherwise, if you had a left-hander, there's a good chance that either Washi or a Markram would have. Because I think Pat Cummins himself should know it in the semi-final. Uh, heads two wickets. Both were right-handers. Exactly. The ball coming in, the loop and the drift that he was getting. But then wasn't one of them Temba? No, Temba got out. So what does that mean? Even if it was the walking wicket in the world. Who yeah, was the world. who was the one wicket? Hendrik Klassen. Oh, it was Klassen. It was Klassen bowled through the gate. Carlson. Carlson. Yeah. So I don't know. Shane had one such blooper. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> He had one major blooper today. We'll discuss it later. Yeah. Why not now? Off camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want. It's you need a Gordon Ramsay. Our, our no, friends. No, the expletive is fine. And okay. our, you uh, almost insulted a legend. <laughs> of course. Legend. Yeah. Very, very far. No, now. but no. Uh, his standard of legend is you know Vijay Shankar, no, Vijay Shankar also. Of course. But our legend. let's say our friends across the border would not be very happy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. In upset, upset, yeah. In upset, <laughs> so, it's a combination of spending too much time on social media and then just letting no, and also your shooting yourself in the foot with these names like Kalsar, of course, and Akshay, of course, <laughs> and also spending Kaldi, a lot, and, and spending a lot of time redoing those jokes here every single day. Kaldeep, Kalsar, Akshay, and and Babar, and the one that we're missing <laughs> with that one word which is now excluded. <laughs> One prefix. 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 Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Babu. <laughs> oh, by the way, big news from the other game, and obviously we don't have that much time left, so I thought we'd go there. Prithvi Shaw returns. We have a lot of time left. And there's no Kuldeep Yadav. No, Ooh. maybe bowling. Stuff. Bowling. Stuff. Yeah, but even so. Okay, let's quickly take a look uh, at the eleven. Prithvi Shaw coming in. I am happy. I think now that batting lineup is looking much better. They'll have an explosive start. I know Prithvi can be hot or cold. But when he is hot, it really will help them accelerate. Okay, so Shaw, David Warner, good opening partnership. Marsh at three. Marsh should have been at three. Now yes. finally gets at three. Rishabh okay at four. That's the correct position for him. Stubbs at five. Abhishek Porel at six. Aksar Patel at seven. He should be batting higher up. I don't know how you yeah. fit him. Yeah. Then uh, it's Nokia, Mukesh, Ishant, and Khalil. So who's batting first? It's Delhi. Delhi. Exactly my point. That batting lineup still looks weak. Yes, Delhi. I thought this is a bowling lineup. No, right then surprise. chose won the toss and chose to. And then Kuldeep was either injured. He's not even in the yeah, impact circles. Maybe yeah, there. Oh. Must have been injured. Listen, if you have Kuldeep, I he's not a worse batter than either Mukesh yeah, or Ishan. Yeah, so clearly Kali. since he's not in the subs yeah. as well, maybe he's pulled up. He has a knock. Yeah. That that can be the only reason. It's not like you, uh, you won't name Kuldeep. Just scroll down. I want to see if Pant said anything. Yeah. You say anything? Uh, Kuli was a nickel. Nickel. There we go. There we go. So that. Is thank God, Ricky Bui is out. I mean, uh, nothing <laughs> against him. No, no, no. Nothing yeah. against him. Not thank God. I'm saying the right call of playing a Prithvi Shaw in so. front of him. I, I had run out of patience with Prithvi Shaw. The team wanted to do something. Yeah, you saw. And two games in. It was Ricky Bui. Two games in. I don't want to take a call just after two games. And uh, hey, you had. I've, a, I've seen two seasons been disrupted. Yeah, you had Ricky Singh sitting out, and if he didn't come in, then I would understand. Exactly. But two games doesn't tell me Ricky anything Bui. about anyone. 
Okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll let me tell you something. Better. We've about. lost two matches, na? So I am ready to lose a third, but <laughs> I want to learn something okay, new. Prithvi you have Shaw. become numb to pain. No, Basically, no, no. I, I no because <laughs> Prithvi Shaw doesn't tell me anything new. But I know he gives. He is hot and cold, and I've seen him cold more often in the last two years. Why are you so obsessed with losing? Because I'll tell you one reason. Okay. No, he is numb to pain. No, no. He is immune. He said that RCB will have to manage. According to Virat Kohli, so it's okay if we don't want to see you. No, 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 no. no. Ah, he no, conceded. No. He conceded. No, no, no. He said I that. said they are fine. They are fine. How do you know? They are fine. It's all there for everyone to see. They are fine with one uh, okay. batter over there batting a certain way. Or anything in that sense, it's plain obvious at the M. Chinnaswamy Stadium. That's how it's been mm. for 16 years. Yeah. But here. You want a Ricky Bui, okay? Whose domestic numbers, even if I want to compare, is slightly here and Prithvi is slightly here. Yeah, come That's on. It. Was I, I, he not your Ranji Trophy highest run getter, Ricky Bui? In 2016, Ricky Bui, no. Check for this year. But for okay. who? Andhra. Check, I check, 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 my friend. Ah, so that's what I'm saying. So that tells you that the guy has some potential, right? He doesn't just get, end up okay. becoming the highest and getter like that. There are two things. I and know. what do I know? Again, maybe okay, that that's the low standard for you. Then in terms of the threshold, two games tells you a lot about everyone or or a player. Let's say I'm not that impatient with the fair, no fair. Classes. But 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 let me add a few things about Ricky Bui. This is a guy who didn't get a look in in Sunrisers Hyderabad, despite being a local lad who they picked up for a base price. So they groomed him for three years did, and then sent him to the auction. Neither board. did Sai Kishore, but we all backed him, right? Then second thing with him at a third franchise, by the way. Correct, correct. Now the other thing, Ricky Bui is a player who's played two World Cups for India under 19, and he was so unimpressive in both of those World Cups that he was not a regular feature of the team. That's the problem. It still gets you runs in Ranji, right? But in Ranji, yeah, so does. Then so does Sarfraz Khan. Yeah, he doesn't. Prithvi stopped getting runs in Ranji also. He doesn't play. He now. stopped getting he's runs a, anywhere that he's played. He's a legend in domestic cricket. For maybe some people in Mumbai who like but him no, no, and no, thought no, more about he, him, maybe he Vijay Hazare and all. He but just destroys opposition. That he does. See, I'll tell you what. Again, I, I, no bias against anyone. You ask me, he has an X factor, which I don't see in Ricky. Which Bui. didn't get you 200 runs also again, last I year. No, I feel your pain. You have felt the pain of losing so I, again and again, I, and that's again. why you have. And you again. despise him. No, I don't okay. despise him. He, he can. He's a lot of Brock Lesnar effects. He can. He can prosper 16. and do whatever. I think the franchise has been very fair to him. If somebody like no, no, who said that they've not? Yeah, so, I'm not saying that. And I have no sympathies. Let's say if he's benched for two games, you can have him. Let's say in the I second half. I think right now your team looks far better with the Prithvi Shaw, David Warner, I Mitch Marsh. Prithvi Shaw is more looks much better. This this team looks much better. You need to find. Uh, I mean that you've already used the four foreigners, but I would have been. You know, tempted at looking at McCurk since he comes yeah, with so much yeah. reputation. But I but agree, you can't fit him, him in. Yeah. I think him. Tristan Stubbs, if he does not have great games, yeah, maybe so that will be the only. No, no, David Warner. What has Warner been doing in the last few years? Of ha, but it'll be tougher to drop him oh, than a Stubbs. Then Stubbs. But yeah, sure, you can look at that in the future. Right now, that, that also need to find a way to have Akshar Patel bat higher. The other good news for Delhi is Ishant is back. He had a good yeah. game last time around, so he's there. Khalil is showing Khalil some form. Khalil was good last, last game. game. Correct. So you got that. Mukesh Kumar was decent last yes. game. So yeah. your bowling lineup, all Indian bowling lineup, allows you to play those many foreigners at at different uh, position. So this being their batting. Uh, the number seven. So you know the funny thing is Akshar batting at seven is pretty late. Late. Yeah. And yet, that's where the batting finishes. Exactly. And so it lo still looks short. Oh, so I mean, Sumit Kumar was the other batter, right? Yes. Yeah. He, he, he barely got a game. I, if for nothing else, at least for the namesake of keeping a token batter, you could have kept out a Mukesh or an Ishan. Or Maybe and haven't you got in. enough they, bowlers already in yeah. Khalil, Ishan, Mukesh, Anrik Nauke, Akshar Asa, Patel, yeah. and Mitch Marsh? And Mitch Marsh. Marsh. Uh, or Maybe you would want a Rasik Dhar. Yeah, no, but as a bowler has to come at now. Only a no, bowler, no, even I think maybe so Rasik isn't a bowler. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, only a Sumit bowler could come. also be coming in. Sumit yeah. can bowl. Or a Sumit Sumit is, isn't Sumit predominantly a batter? He, like he did bowl in the first match, ah, but then who he did he bowl to? He saw him bowling off spin to Liam Livingston. He was caught in. So, sure. no, so it's Rasik Shaw Dhar. goes out and one of these guys comes or in. A I won't be surprised. Yeah, one you know, of these. One thing which really stands out to me when I look at this uh, lineup for uh, Delhi Capitals, I can't believe it's just struck me. 
there's a shocking lack of all rounders hmm. a shocking lack of all rounders but Aksar. an Aksar and a Mitchell but Mitchell March has not has barely bowled but you take it impact sometimes the, the no but every other team has at least do. three all rounders I think you have one all rounder in Akshar you have another one in Mitch, Mitch Marsh but yeah. they don't use him now as a bowler no I'm saying just look at every other team I think have at least even in the era of the impact sub at least three all rounders proper that's See, CSK have three. Yeah. If you look at it, there is uh, Rachin Ravindra, there is Daryl Mitchell, there is Ravindra Jadeja. But by that logic, and even Daryl Mitchell is hardly being used, right? But he did bowl in the game against GT and got to the wicket now with Joe. Mm. Dhoni took that catch. The best catch taken by a 42-year-old ever. <laughs> <laughs> because there is no other 42-year-old. There is no other 42-year-old guy. Yeah. <laughs> Misbah could have been that, but Misbah stopped playing years ago. Yeah. That's so, not a wicket keeper. And look, you say that Look at in the CSK team, they have got so much depth. Yes, and I keep saying that. You can't fit in a Shardul. Achha, we'll have a full show for, for you to praise also, CSK <laughs> when their game comes. You can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well. let's quick quoted. quick look at the CSK team since Siddharth insists they're doing rather well. They have a lot of all-rounders. Everything is working fine for them. They're flying high, undefeated so far in the IPL. Yep. Leader of the pack. What else do we say? Whatever you say about the team, it looks good. Yeah, it nothing looks much. Good. That and you can get in. Uh, Dube. Dube will come in. Yes, he'll yes. be your impact sir, as he's been coming in. And you, yeah. one bowler in maybe uh, Tushar Desh Pandey. Maybe a Fizz or a Matisha Patidana. Fizz. Yeah. Huh, yeah. Either of those guys. Yeah. Whoever goes out. So that's looking makhan. Nothing much to discuss in the Chennai team. Quickly, question. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good thing, na? Right. Whenever you don't have a debate to have over a playing eleven, yeah. that means it's great. Divyank has an amazing question. Of course. Just absolutely amazing. Yeah. Just looking like a wow. Oh. And we'll get sick to answer it. Of course. I will read the question. Mm. I want to have the pleasure of reading the question. Sadat. Divyank says, Is Vijay Shankar the worst ever to play for India? Question mark. Plus no. Sid get over World Cup 23. We didn't win, but we played well. No. Unlike under your Thala, T20 World Cup 0, 9, 10, 12, 14, 16. World Cup 15, Champions Trophy 9, 4-0-4-0-4-0. Imagine surviving this in today's time. I'll just add one thing to it. Though yeah. It makes a fair point. Your comparison with Dhoni is unfair because you've not looked at his Best. success, yeah. only looked at his failure. So that's unfair. Please give him credit. But to answer your second part, two four zeros, no captain would have survived. Correct. He was very lucky to survive that. Yes. Of course, he had the backing of the BCCI president then, which helped him. Otherwise, no captain should have survived two four zeros. Of course. He did. So he got lucky. There was a bias there. But your other comparison of only pointing out his failures, most captains, even the most successful, would have lost more uh, trophies than one. Yep. You only need to win one or two in your career to be counted as great. And Dhoni has done MS it. MS Dhoni, if you look at it, has completed the white ball set, my friend. Yes, yes. You look no, at it. no debate about that. The, yeah. the top debate. And okay, the second line, we didn't win, but we played well. But you didn't win. You did, and you didn't play well. And no, no, you, you didn't, didn't win the well. game that you had to win. You Divya. didn't play well. Okay. And is Shang. No, he means played well during the tournament. But in the final, you didn't. No. Uh, you are paper champions, okay, Divyang? If it satisfies you, we are paper champions. No, you're, you're, you're champions of winning hearts. hearts. You guys are ruthless, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's ruthless. why Australia Both got six guys. World Cup titles. They're ruthless. India just winning hearts champion. That is the way. Is are Shang we really not? No. We only win Indian hearts. Only win Indian. Do not look at comments for foreign. Uh, of course, of course, of when course. When it comes to Indian cricket. Is Shankar no. the worst ever to play no. for India? Answer that. No, eh, no, nahi, na, nati. Name no. of you. Uh, there was a Jacob Martin. Then, if you look at it, he play. He was one of the worst. If you look at it, David. <laughs> Noel David. David. Who? David who? Noel, Noel David who? from Andhra. If Noel you look who? at it, yes. Then, yes, he also didn't get a big run, but Badrinath didn't impress in that one game that he got. Subramanya Badrinath. But he only got one game. <laughs> but that is the thing. Now you have to get the point. Huh? Who? Hey, Shri Ram. Sridharan Sridharan, yes. Mm. Vijay Bharadwaj. Vijay Bharadwaj, wow. amazing series he had won. Amazing, oh, that down under. No, down under. no, no. no. Yes. He, he had the good uh, kind of one-two games in Kenya. 
where that was that Kenya or was that down under? No, no, no. Yeah, that one series. He was man of the series. Yeah. That was when South Africa, Kenya, and India. So whatever he did, na. Yeah. So you can't say worst to play the series when man of the series. And remember, he got it with twenty thirties and some two three wickets. But the guy who scored the most was Sunil Joshi, five or six. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So not can't be worst. Am I cross? Yeah. Am I cross? Although I like the guy. Even I do. He was an aggressive batter. Yeah. Way ahead of his time. But so I've named you six, my friend. So okay. he's not the worst ever. Quickly, let's answer uh, others. Love, Love Karan Thur from the US, best foreign player in international cricket beside Carlson. Oh, I am not Klasen. answering that first. One okay. each. No, go one each. Best e- foreign player in international cricket at the moment. Struggle hmm. to look past a uh, muscle, Russell muscle, Andre Russell. No, and it's only T20 cricket. No, and playing no. in the IPL. Or? Is it all formats? No, though? international cricket. So I, I think that would comprise everything. Everything. Oh. So Russell in T20s, if you are saying, then in T20Is, at yeah, least yeah, there's yeah. a legitimate claim to be made. Mm. Otherwise, no. Otherwise, if you have to look at overall, no, that's a tough one, yeah. Hmm. Of overall, chalo, let's consider white ball because Klassen is technically retired from tests. Let's yeah. consider white ball. So okay, scenarios. let's consider T20s because I think it's the mood of mm. T20 cricket mm. and that's the spirit with which he's asking. Yeah. So T20 cricket. Uh, ah. I would say Andre Russell. Yeah, Russell would probably be the only one that comes close. And even he's a sporadic. And Nicholas Puran. A oh, Puran's a good shout. Yeah, Puran's a good shout. He was your game and changer in the game in the last match against PBKS along with Kunal Pandey. Nicholas Puran is one. Uh, Hmm. Otherwise, yeah, I see mean, a lot of England yeah. players are out of form. Yeah, so you can't yeah. I would have put a butler there, but he's not in form. Not in all. great form in T20. Ice. Same with Maxwell. I mean, hit or yeah. miss, but on a oh yeah, on a given day, Maxwell. Mm. Maxwell a good shout actually. Mm. Again, ODI is too right. So okay, as far as consistency is concerned, pick I one now quickly. Daryl Mitchell, Russell. You going with Russell? I had gone with Russell, but I'll be tempted to pick Mitchell. Daryl Mitchell. I'm I'll going Nicholas Puran. I'm going Rachin Ravindra. Players, internationally. Oh, for one good World Cup. Mm. See, mm. he's doing well. You didn't expect him to be doing as well Although as he is right now. Although his T20 numbers are good, but T20 I is I is better. But again, so, uh, we've ignored bowlers, huh? like uh, I don't know, Shain Shah Afridi. Uh, Shain Shah has been in torrid form recently. Ah, but I'm saying overall T20 eyes only. Even in T20 eyes, he had such a bad series with the ball that he lost the captaincy. Losing <laughs> Pakistani captaincy. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. taking with bags of salt. Yeah. <laughs> Stop he, bowlers are actually. He just got a central contract back. He's talking about. Yeah, Rabada, if he strikes form, mm. he's kind of showing form mm. now. Kagi saw Rabada, a Bumra. Just for Bumra? No. Oh, sorry, it's but international. In Otherwise, you would have gone with Virat and all. Right? But he should have said non Indian then. Huh? No, no, I think he means that. Foreign player. player. My bad. I forgot the foreign player. Ah, foreign player. player. Yeah, yeah, foreign player. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, Sam no, no, Sam Karan's form. He's been woefully. Uh, he's showing decent form now, but internationally been woefully. Yeah, he's been woefully out of form. Yeah. Otherwise, Aussie is having. You could say Cummins, but again, T20 eyes doesn't no, really inspire no, no, no. confidence. Neither does the, the entire trio doesn't. Hazelwood, Stark, correct, Cummins, correct, 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 correct. Even in New Zealand, I mean, Trent Bolt has stopped playing T20 eyes, and he's out of New Zealand contract. He's before. opted out. May yeah, may add. So. I would say Mitchell. In underrated would be a Santner, but again he's always underrated. He's always in the very place. underrated. Yeah. Completely agree. Puran is the best. Puran. Puran is a good shot. We are looking at bowlers. Bowlers. He's laughing here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ha uh-huh. ha. I know, but it's interesting how you every no, time come up, up with the LSD. I players. picked up Puran yeah. despite. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You were abusing Mohsin Khan yesterday. What happened? Chappal padne chahiye. Exact words. <laughs> Verbatim. <laughs> then he was on a hat trick. Fair weather fans. <laughs> I know. <laughs> then he was on a hat trick like Papiya. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He is my Padosi and he is my Padosi. I can treat you whatever way I feel like. Dex is asking, do you all remember Ronaldinho? What kind of a question is that? Yeah. Tell us something. Oh, he's Legendary. I, I hated him for that uh, free kick against England. Yeah, outstanding free kick. Yeah, well, well, well. And I'm a Barcelona fan, so. Was it a free kick or he just chipped no, it? It was a free kick. Was a free kick. Was a free kick. Don't, do not remind me of that match. Yeah. I still watch YouTube videos of him playing. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah. Somebody picked Temba Bahuma also. Greatest of all. Yes. Mm. Piyush Nandre, naughty fellow, this guy is. Yeah. Okay, predictions? Oh, this is a toughie. Real toughie. Rashid. Rashid is a good shout. Rashid is a very good shout. Good shout. shout. Thank you, Piyush. Mm, good shout. Yep, yep, mm. yep, indeed, indeed. Mm, okay, okay, predictions. Mm. Jesus. 
Since I got my last one so correct, I predicted that SRH would get 205. Um, yeah. <laughs> I th- I've taken the mantle from Siddharth apparently. Yeah. Uh, okay. You're doing a good job. Uh, DC. <laughs> A bad job. No, you're a bad good, good job. job. Okay. Uh, so DC get to about a good bad job. A good bad job. Uh, they get to about 179 and CSK romp to a win. Mm, 155 and CSK win. I'll go with 162 and CSK winning. Uh, oh, well, where's the fun factor here? Yeah? Huh? Support your team. Yeah, no man. I'm supporting my team, but I'm if this is about calling. This is what realism and pragmatism can do. I know you've suffered pain, you've suffered a lot of pain, but still. I have, I've had a bite of the reality sandwich way too many times, yeah, so, yeah, this is a battle of unequals. <laughs> I have no shame Funny in calling it. Uh, don't talk about food and sandwich, please. You just survived a food poisoning bout a couple of days ago. What? Twice How? I did, in fact, huh? two weeks. He was just like this, sweating, and I'm like, oh God, do I have to rush him to the <laughs> hospital or something? He was that bad. Yeah, yeah, he's sitting here also. It's like, what happened here? <laughs> Today the okay, uh, are mine is 172 and CSK money. Yep. No one has. Oh, by the way, CSK hopefully win. this changes luck for my team. I forgot to win it. How dare! And you know what? He, this today. See how much faith he has in his team. He came first day wearing Delhi jersey, saying, Now every match I will wear. No, this is uh, just. It's only to taken two matches <laughs> no, 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 for no, no, that no, jersey no, to be but off. He picked CSK is wearing the Delhi flag. Pancho Ungliangi me. No, 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 no. The the supporter <laughs> the, the supporter me wanting Delhi to win, but let's say the uh, tin pot Heart. analyst me no, no. predicting uh, Heart wants Delhi to win, mind wants CSK to win. No, no, mind says CSK Heart wants of course Delhi to win. But that's what he said. Huh. Mind <laughs> heart. So, um, so yeah, uh, hopefully this changes luck. Okay, okay, fine. So yeah. So let's see if we get our predictions right. <coughs> and thank you so much to all our family members. We have gone Drum roll. past 300k. 300k has been surpassed. Thank you so much to our family members for giving us so much love. Now excuse us whilst we go and eat some cake. Not red and velvet. <laughs> oh boy. Bye. Bye. Hey wait, he didn't give his prediction. No? Oh, he gave CSK, CSK. But he waved the DC flag. Oh, well done. Congratulations to our friends and our family. <laughs>